<laughs> just when you thought the Cyberpunk 2077 news couldn't get worse, it just got worse. Also, amazing new footage of a PS5 game coming and another console just got discontinued. All and more in this amazing video. is going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 news for this video i'm back from vacation and so we're hitting y'all with a banger first the cyberpunk news is getting even worse i talked about yesterday how sony is now discontinuing the game from the PlayStation Store. Here is an official Twitter statement, and then it's gonna get even worse. This is what Cyberpunk has said. Following our discussion with PlayStation, a decision was made to temporarily suspend digital distribution of Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation Store. You can still buy physical versions of the game in brick and mortar stores and online. All purchased digital and physical copies of the game will continue to receive support and updates as we continue to improve your experience. According to our knowledge, starting today, everyone who is not willing to wait for updates and wants to refund their digital copy of the game can do so by submitting a request and then they post a link. And then they end it by saying, we are working hard to bring Cyberpunk 2077 back to PlayStation Store as soon as possible. And so, this is just a temporary, a temporary stop of sales on the PlayStation Stores. Who knows how long this is going to last. They're working on improvements, but if you have a base model PS4 and you're just itching to play this game, you can still get physical, a physical copy at brick and mortar stores. But it's gotten so bad, the New York Times is reporting everything that's going on with cyberpunk 27 specifically that sony is pulling the game from their playstation store you know it's bad when the new york times the most famous news outlet in the u.s probably in the world is reporting what's going on the new york times has tweeted out cyberpunk is being pulled from the playstation store by sony and so it's getting even worse for the game it's gonna be hard pretty hard for them to recover from this and so we do know sony it's like nope we're not selling this game anymore until we see major changes now what is xbox doing xbox has been relatively quiet up until today this is coming from xbox support official twitter account this is what xbox is saying cyberpunk 277 to ensure that every player can get the experience they expect on xbox we will be expanding our existing refund policy to offer full refunds to anyone who purchased cyberpunk 2077 digitally from the Microsoft Store until further notice. They also um, tweeted out, this is Xbox. While we know the developers at CD Projekt Red have worked hard to ship Cyberpunk 2077 in extremely challenging circumstances. Stop trying to damage control for them, Xbox. This is what they continue to say though. We also realize that some players have been unhappy with the current experience on older consoles and they go on to say that we're going to expand the refund policy and so microsoft 
It's not taking as an extreme measure as Sony by flat out just taking it off the store. They are expanding their refund policy because before, because I've um, asked for a refund for digital games before on Xbox, they look and see how many hours you have in the game, um, how long ago you purchased the game, and if it's beyond that requirement, they don't allow digital refunds. But now, they are not having any restrictions. You could have already beaten the game. They're like, we're gonna give you a refund. You might have beaten the game was like, man, that was a trash experience. They're giving you a refund. So they're offering a full, full refund, no questions asked for the game. So props to like, Xbox for doing that. I've already reported to you guys, GameStop. Now what about brick and mortar stores? GameStop, they are not offering refunds. GameStop, as of the recording of this video, they are not offering refunds for the game a little anti-consumer knowing they know that um gamers have been tricked well i guess gamestop is like we trick y'all all the time we um sell y'all a 60 dollar game then buy it back from y'all for 20 dollars then <laughs> resell it for 55 dollars so they're like whatever we feel what cyberpunk is going through but best buy check this out best buy is accepting cyberpunk returns through december 21st even if you've already opened and played the game and so best buy contrary to what gamestop is doing if you bought cyberpunk from best buy they are accepting refunds for the game now this has me to think about cyberpunk was bragging i don't know i forget if they were yeah they were bragging that they've already recouped all of their developmental costs just by pre-order so the game was profitable even before the game launched now i want to see how these profit margins are going to start looking after all of these refunds and this is a lesson to the gaming industry and uh, it's not so much the developers i don't fault the developers i'm sure the higher ups the ceos or whatnot they were like i'm um, pushing them and pressuring them to release the game by this deadline holiday so they can get these holiday sales and it's a shame that the developers are bearing the brunt of the damage that's been happening all right so that's cyberpunk but check this out the playstation 4 pro is being discontinued you can no longer purchase a playstation 4 pro through playstation direct sony's official online retail shop for consoles you can no longer purchase the playstation 4 pro i bought the god of war edition dope 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 console and so since it's been discontinued from the playstation store you can almost bet um, um gamestop best buy they're gonna stop receiving more allotments of the ps4 pro and it makes sense Sony wants you, if you're going to upgrade from a base model PlayStation 4, they don't want you to upgrade to a PS4 Pro. They want you to buy that PS5, my favorite console right now, easily. And so the PlayStation 4, um, it's been discontinued from the official PlayStation Store. Um, so it had a good run that has me to think about how Sony and both Xbox will look at iterative uh, mid-gen refreshing of their consoles. Xbox had already discontinued the Xbox One X. I know why because it's so similar to the Series X. But now Sony is discontinuing the PlayStation 4 Pro. It had a good run. I enjoyed the system. I had the base model PS4, PS4 Pro. Now we're on the PS5. It's all about next gen right now, bro. So if you're looking for a PS4 Pro, I don't even know how much. If you're going to spend 400 almost $400 in PS4 Pro, you might as well at least get a digital 
PS5. I'm just saying. Also, bro, check this out. New footage of Black Myth Wukong. This is a um, footage of in-game environmental uh, in-game environment demo running at 4K 60 frames per second. Look at the axe and the grass swaying, bro. This is and this video just shows different um, shots, environments of the game. You have to check out this game in action. This looks like one of the best next. This is the best game I've ever seen in my life, bro. When you see the, if you see this game running in action, this game is scheduled. It's scheduled to be coming to the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC in 2023. So we still have about two years for this game to come out. But this game looks amazing, amazing. Definitely put Black Myth Wukong on your radar for next gen. Also, dope, dope. Inter this, is, this is just interesting news. Because of what's been going on with Cyberpunk 2077, two other games have been trending on Twitter. No Man's Sky and wait for it, Anthem. <laughs> because of, um, I guess, gamers are talking about games with bad launches. No Man's Sky horrible launch i'm telling you i have a radar for this stuff bro before cyberpunk was gonna come out i said i don't think this is gonna go well with gamers and lo and behold we see what's going on i remember when no man's sky was revealed i was scratching my head like this looks like a bad game it doesn't look like there's something missing Everybody was hyping it up. No, we won. It looks amazing. And lo and behold, gamers were disappointed with this game. But to No Man's Sky credit, they have made the updates, done what needed to be done. And now the game that we have now for No Man's Sky is not the same game that launched. It's a phenomenal game right now as we speak. Uh, we can't say so much the same for Anthem as far as updates and improvements. I have to say this though. I loved Anthem. I still, Anthem was a dope, dope game with just some, some few frustrating elements that was like, man, that just killed the vibe for the game. But the core gameplay, the combat, the environment, the flying around in these mech suits, amazing game. So fingers crossed. There is, there is reports that a 2.0 version of Anthem is still being in the works. If they make the right improvements to this game, this could be a phenomenal PS5 next-gen experience. So, um, No Man's Sky, Anthem, both trending because of what's been going on with Cyberpunk. All right, dudes, um, before I end this video, just want to let you guys know I will be on my gaming channel playing one of three games today, or probably all three, Demon Souls, um, and with the sponsors, NBA 2K20 and Call of Duty. So go and check out my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. If you want to know how you can game with your boy, get into a private gaming community, stay tuned. What do you guys think about everything we saw, uh, we talked about, you saw, and I talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy Three ways to join.
subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the Bro, links are in the description. I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.